Director Brown and it's Will, aka the Paparazzi Gamer, at the Artist Project. You guys, enjoy the video. So beautiful. Thank you, sir. You're always so nice. Voting here. Hi. I'm gonna try because I'm trying to keep this one. That's the nice. girl right there, man. It's worth following. It's yeah. worth following. Yeah. Thank no, you. It's not while we're crossing. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> there we go. Get over here. Keep walking. Wait, let's get on the sidewalk. On the sidewalk. Yeah. No way you get hurt. Okay. Okay. All right. Hey, guys. I'm Roxy Gamer here. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Every day we're putting out new stuff. Uh, I know you're gonna like it. I'm also on Instagram, the Paparazzi Gamer, and Twitch, the Paparazzi Gamer. Hi guys, it's me. Today I'm doing Pixie Beauty. Pixie was developed by Petra Green, who has 20 years of experience of being a makeup artist and a product developer. Pixie is focused on simple, natural beauty. They want you to look like your best you. This year, Pixie sponsored the swag bag at the Critics' Choice Awards. Every single participant got one of these swag bags, and I'm going to unbag these awesome products for you. I don't usually wear makeup unless it's at a dance competition or a pageant. My main focus is to look natural and take care of my skin. And Pixie's products are natural and beneficial for the skin, and that's why I like this product. But let's get to unbagging. So the first product is kind of sticking out here, and it is the Pixie Plum Collagen Boost, and it has three face masks in it. And, um, yep, there are three face masks, and they look really pretty. They feel kind of cool, too. <laughs> but, yeah, those are three face masks. I don't usually wear face masks, but maybe I'll try this tonight. It is a flawless and poreless primer. It looks super cool. This is actually one of Petra's favorites, the Flawless Primer. And I don't know, I might have to try this. So the next product is this Pixie Skin Treats Hydrating Milky Mist. 
So what you do with this is you open it up and you spray it all over your face to make your face feel hydrated and all nice and fresh. I actually, I want to try this like so bad. <laughs> but I don't usually try like those little things because they honestly, I always felt like they were kind of weird because they made my face feel wet. But I'm going to definitely try that tonight. It is Pixie Toffee Lip Gloss. Look how pretty it looks. It's like so sparkly. I'm definitely going to try this on. <laughs> and the last product in this incredible swag bag that Pixie gave all of the participants is the Large Lash Mascara. And I'm actually going to be trying this on. Whoa, oh my gosh, hold on. That looks super, that looks super nice. Okay. Feels nice. How do I look? Okay, guys, thank you so much for tuning in on this episode of Reese's Race. Be sure to go check out Pixie Beauty, and thank you so much, Pixie, for giving out these incredible, amazing, outstanding swag bags out to all the participants. And I love you guys so, so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! I have the plump collagen face mask on right now, and it feels super cool. It feels super, like, professional. It feels super cool and kind of slimy, but <laughs> it feels super cool. Uh... Whoa, that feels so cool. Okay, time to come rinse my face. Feels like super refreshing. I'm Rucker Ballone with The Artist Project, and I'm here with... Sam Rubin from KTLA. So, Sam, how long have you been with KTLA? A really long time, since 1991. Whoa. I didn't even know they were a thing way back then. That's absolutely, that's way, that's absolutely awesome. Don't mind me and my 14-year-old brain. But, so, how does the voting process work for the Critics' Choice? All right, the Critics' Choice, what's funny now, these things have been computerized to a degree. We, you know, used to submit ballots. We get a, a sheet of all the nominees as a computer email and literally click off our selections. It all goes to some, you know, tallying company. And uh, the one thing about it, which, which I like, a lot of award shows will tell people ahead of time if they've won. We okay. don't do that. It's, we, we only find out when the envelope's opened. Okay. Okay, so that's how upsets happen. When, like, you read the wrong right. name. Okay, so can you explain to me how, if Frozen 2 isn't picked, how that would, but it's the best. Absolutely. Okay, bad. Okay. okay, do you think Frozen, Frozen 2 is the best animated movie? Do you think yes. it's the best movie? Yes, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right. But there is a best animated movie category, and yeah. it needs to win this time. All right. The Golden Globes upset me. Did I you like, did, uh, there were two songs in Frozen 2. There was that Into the Unknown, yes, that was good. but then there was the other song. Lost towards, in the Woods? No, that, Show Yourself. Oh, yeah, that was good as well. That was the best one. Okay, I liked Into the Unknown. I actually liked See? Lost to the Woods the most. Lost, I, okay, Lost, Lost in the, the Woods. Lost the Woods are very good, too, but good. I like Show Yourself a lot. Funny. All right. I'm kind of dying right now. Right. Anyway, um, also, I want to ask you, so how long have you been on the board? with Critics' Choice. I've been on the board of Critics' Choice. This is our 25th year. I think I've been a board member for like the last five years. Okay. Uh, but I've been a member the whole time. How did you get involved? Well, I, I have this job that, that yeah. is, is sort of a description of what the Critics' Choice, uh, you know, yeah. do. And um, from that, uh, I, I just want to be more involved. I like what we're doing. I, here's the thing, and I don't know if you feel this way. There's so much stuff now. Here's a billion TV shows. Yeah. Here's a billion movies. I think it's helpful if a group says, you know what, this one's good, or, you know, sure, we've all heard about that one, but maybe you haven't heard of this one. They, the the like big, that. the fancy word they use is curation. I think it's helpful to, right, to get words. things curated. I yeah. do not know big words. Right, <laughs> Thank you very much. You bet. 
Uh, absolutely on. And when are you going back on air? I'm going to go back on the air in about a minute and a half. Okay, well, I'll see you right. in a minute and a half. Have fun, okay. and I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay. Pardon? Hi, Mom. We, oh, we shout love out. Australia. We have a good young man Brandy, here. Shout out my, my go to dance move happens when the lights go down low, when you put the candles on, you turn up a beautiful song, and you'll never get to see it. <laughs> Is there going to be a frozen? Frozen three. You came out with a hard question. I know. First. I get it first. I get it first. Well, we we said. What What do you think if we just skip three and go straight to four? Wait. What did you just say? <laughs> I don't. As long as there's another one, I don't care which number it is. As long as there's another. Yeah. That sounds amazing to me. Because Frozen two, when you directed it, were there any problems? Because lots of people don't know about how directing an animated film works. Could you explain to us how that kind of just, how it works? Oh, we could be here all night, but it's very, it's very close to live action, except that, you know, we can create everything in the, in the computer, you know? Whoa, what's on the back of your jacket? It's been painted like three days ago. <laughs> I'm Riker Ballone with The Artist Project, and I'm here with... Hi, I'm Carrie Keegan. So, why are you here today? Um, these hedges. That's the only reason why I'm here. And the back of your jacket. Have you guys seen the back of his jacket? Seriously. It's new. Last this time we, so had, cool. we had a different jacket. You might be the best dressed one here. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to use the bathroom in this dress. I don't know how that's going to work, but we'll figure it out. Well, good luck to you. Yeah, thank you so much. What are you going to do while we're here? Well, while I'm here, I am going to interview people and meet amazing people like yourself. Nice. Are you look Okay, you have favorites. I know you do. I have favorites? You have favorites. Who are you dying to meet? Well, I, I did just meet the, the directors of Frozen 2, which I'm really excited about. Okay, that's awesome. I don't know why. I mean, like, Robert Downey Jr., I don't know if he's here, but I would love to meet him. And The Rock, obviously. These are my favorites. I'm naming them. The Rock is one of the coolest dudes I've ever met in my life. You met him? That's yeah. absolutely fantastic. I've, I, I have a weird thing about myself. I listen to his motivational speeches way too much. That's great. Good for you. Well, that's why you're in front of the camera. Yeah, I don't know. it's kind of weird. I'm just like, whenever I'm feeling down, The Rock just—he's so motivational, man. It's so weird. He's training you for future. This is good. I like it. It's fantastic. Maybe, should I start listening? I should. You should you absolutely Are you should. You start putting out some. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some motivational speeches about my 14-year-old self and all my troubles. Listen, sometimes your your point of view is something we need to remember. Yeah. So, out of all the actors, yeah. and I know there's some amazing faces. Uh, who messed up their lines the most? <laughs> you're so you get you're a good interviewer. You get right to the right to the tough stuff. You know what? We the cast we had was so professional. All, every single one of them was so stone cold. Everyone had their lines down. So it, I didn't I didn't need that problem. For me as a director, I was the one who was nervous that I was gonna like miss a shot or something or skip a beat. I was the rookie on set. So yeah, so I had an easy time. Amazing. That's awesome. So you're an amazing cast. Uh, Absolutely love that. Was there a hard scene to shoot for yourself? We had a bunch of scenes that were the whole cast. It's a big, big cast. And we had scenes where they were all together, like, arguing with each other in one room. And that was both the most fun and the most challenging, you know. Can't wait to see it. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. You Have a good one. Take care, man. Caroline Aaron from The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Absolutely amazing. Can you tell us your part? I play Mrs. Maisel, but I'm not the marvelous one. I don't want to misrepresent anything to you. I am Mrs. Maisel. I play Joel's mom. And I'm, you know, one half of the family of the show. Absolutely amazing. I love how you're like, I'm not the marvelous one, but you are, absolutely. Thank you so much. And who are you? Break your bell. What are you doing? What's your outlet? I am, well, I'm with the Artist Project, and I'm interviewing. The Artist Project is a nonprofit organization giving back to the community. It's a bunch of actors and professionals who've made it in this industry, like yourself. And they uh, they bring in people like me and mentor and help us. That's the reason I'm here. And that's the reason like my life has changed. I'm loving it. Absolutely. A journalist or an actor. I can't decide. I love acting. I went to college to major in broadcast journalism. But the very first thing we had to do was cut with do obituaries, learn to write an obituary and cover deaths and it was so upsetting to me.
that I decided I didn't want to do that. I decided to be an actor instead. But you're right, there's a lot of overlap. Yeah, hoping to rep the show pretty hard and, and have a good time tonight. Is there anything you're looking forward in particular? Oh, I don't know. Probably making a fool out of myself in front of like people that I really, you know, like have celebrity crushes on most likely. <laughs> who, who knows how, like the depths of my embarrassment, how, how deep it will go tonight. That's absolutely amazing. That's how I feel whenever I go. You I, gotta, I love that. You gotta embrace it, you know what yeah, I mean? Absolutely. It's like, how do you act normal around these people? You can't. You just gotta. You gotta. This, okay, when you try to act yeah, normal, give me it's the never. Tips. It's you weird. tell me what to do, because I, I honestly have to. I, I gotta know. I'm, I'm about to add in there. Like so yourself. any tips or what? When, what when I'm surrounded like with people like yourself, yes. Here's my advice: just try to forget everything you did and just let it go. Let it go. Let, let it, go. it go. Actually, that's a great. One. That's really mm -hmm. good. I learned it from Frozen. Oh. <laughs> All right. Hi, I'm Diane Warren. And why are you here today? I'm nominated for my song, I'm Standing With You. It's going to be... Uh, from the movie Breakthrough, sung by Chrissy Metz. Oh, okay. This gonna, I'm sure it's a fantastic song if it was nominated. Yeah, is that cool? Did you, were there any issues or problems when creating the songs that you had to go through? No, no I, it kind of wrote itself. It kind of wrote itself. So you wrote it? I did write it. And did you... I, mean, did, I, I was there when it wrote itself, but, which I guess means I wrote it. <laughs> That's absolutely amazing. And. How long have you been writing songs? Forever. Like for years. Long. How old are you? I'm 14. Like, God, a lot longer than you've been alive. Like, way a lot longer, like three times. I don't know. I've been doing it a lot. Three time. times? That's not possible. Wait, I'm guessing you're like 30? Almost, yeah. Almost 30? Are you... oh. no, how old are you? 30? 40? Yeah, I'm 30. Oh, okay. So 30. So how's it three times? If I'm 14, then I'm not good at math either way. I'm sorry. I'm Welcome really to. 30, but I... <laughs> You're like in your mind. And what's your go-to dance move at a party? I don't really know how to dance. Oh, come on. Anyone could dance. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's it. <laughs> well, I got to teach you then. You yeah. try the, try the windshield. You're going to be really good, you know. Is, is, are you going to do this for a living? This is going to be good. I think it might just be. No, it is. You feel it. I'm feeling it? Yeah. I hope so. Um, maybe get my own show. You know, I've got big I dreams. I think you should. Just, just do it. If you don't have big dreams, why dream? They should be Absolutely. Should be but thank you very much. Thank nice you. Thank you. I'm Rucker Ballone with The Artist Project, and that was the Critics' Choice Awards. It was so much fun. I met so many amazing people and I had some really awesome conversations. And all in all, my best event yet. Thank you, guys.